Hello guys, I've been asked to do a tutorial on uh, how I make these missiles. Uh, I'm not going to delve into too much dis um, detail in how they are made as such. They're pretty simple. Warhead, fins, radar, impact sensors, logic and your, your rocket fuel there. Uh, the fins inverted between front and back. You can just have a quick look at that if you want to copy it. I have these on the workshop anyway. Uh, but anyway, what I am going to focus on is the logic side of it. Um, as you, I'll show you. This is a uh, this is a working missile, so that should lock its target. Boom. It's not going to be the best missile in the world, but we should be able to get you in the ballpark. Uh, regardless, let's jump into the logic, and I'm going to delete that. Got a rough idea of how that works, um, and see if we can get this into a functional missile again. I don't believe I needed that one. So yeah, those are our X and Y axis. I'm going to start off with a PID. I'm not going to mess around too much with the numbers because I know one that works. I'm going to be using that for this missile so you don't have to watch me do the tedious experimental process. that, that to that, and uh, conveniently have that constant, so it's always turned on. That's right. Uh, I don't think that's going to work, but let's give it a pop anyway, see what we got. Those dive. Alright. So let's have a quick look. So one of the things that I like to do on these missiles is on the Y axis, so that's your up and down. I like to put in an extra little bit of coat, um, if you want to call it that. And it's from an addition. I want to do a composite one read. Now this is the distance. So if the distance, and it doesn't really matter which one. I think I went for this one. If the distance and that one are less than I think I did zero just to be sure I did zero point one so let's get constant out here zero point one then it's going to send a signal to a numerical switch box if that signal is off it will read as normal through the radar if that signal isn't on, then we want a constant again. And let's try 0 0.2. This might be a negative. I think I might have to put a negative in here, but let's just try that. Uh, what I'm basically doing there is if you're not reading anything, I want you to just go up slightly. No, it definitely looked like it was doing something there. I have a feeling that's a negative number. Uh, it should be reading as a negative. So let's try and put a function on the end of that just to invert the numbers. Is it that one? That's the basic one. There we go. So we're going to invert anything that comes out there. X, turn X to negative X. Let's see what we got. I'm going to say that was definitely wrong. Maybe it's just from before there. I think it's just that one that needs to be inverted. Apologies. So let's try that. Right, didn't hit the target. I'll just see if we can hit it one more time. And then I'll I'll just go over it again, just in case uh, I did skim a little bit there. So it's going, boom, it's the target. That I only had to invert that bit just because if these were the other way round, if if those were negative, those were positive, it would have been fine without inverting it. It's just the way I set the missile up. So that's probably something you have to figure out on your your own missile. But just to go over this bit again, 
I'm just taking these random two numbers uh, from the, the front of the radar. Uh, that's only because if it's not locked on, those numbers aren't going to give a read. So essentially what this little bit of code is saying, like if if you've got a lock on something, sorry, if you don't have a lock on something, then just raise your nose up a bit. It stops it from nose diving at launch. You could also play with that if you've got doing it on like a helicopter and you want to hit targets below you, you could set it the other way so it would nose dive. But yeah, if there's if there's no lock, then just raise your nose up a little bit. Uh, if you have a lock, then read from the radar. Uh, that PID's obviously constantly on, it goes out to there. I think that's fairly simple. If there's any questions, feel free to ask me. Again, um, missile is launching. Uh, what I will do is just give you a quick look at the uh, the settings in the radar. Boom. Uh, I'll give you uh, just a, a little look at the radar settings that I used here. I think that's the only ones that are any variable. Just it would probably work if I changed it a bit. I mean, if if you're having problems, it's probably not the radar. I imagine that there would. Oh, it didn't. All right. Consider me converted. I was totally wrong. So. Looks like it's better to have it around this area somewhere. As long as you're somewhat on target. Okay, so again, somewhere between point one, let's see how far we can go up here with keeping them both the same. Maybe four hundred should be alright. I I can't I, I'm not totally sure how far away that thing is away. Nope. Alright, well, again, probably something you're going to have to mess around with. I've got missiles that work better than this one anyway, so they're, it's all on my workshop. I won't babble on anymore. But, uh, yeah, I hope this has been helpful for somebody. And any questions, feel free to ask. I try to get back pretty quick. I get the notifications on my phone. Have a good day. Cheers, guys.